Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. In light of the current situation with the coronavirus, I hope that everyone is staying home or at least far away from crowds and staying safe. Fortunately, even while staying home, there are lots of things that you can do. Over the past weekend, I decided to look towards Skillshare, who is the sponsor of this video, for some inspiration. For those of you who aren't familiar with them already, Skillshare is an online learning community offering thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, and their topics include illustration, design, photography, and much more. Members get unlimited access to thousands of these classes, so if you're interested, the first 500 of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get two months of free premium membership so that you can create some fun projects too. I found a stationery lover, Nina Vangaro, who has a bunch of classes on paper projects, and I decided to follow one that teaches you how to make a set of note cards and envelopes. All tools and materials needed are listed under the projects and resources tab of the class, and the great thing about this project is that most items you should have lying around your house already. Instead of cardstock, which Nina uses in her class, I decided to use an old calendar that I had from 2016. After choosing a few pages, I started to prepare cards that would fit into the envelope template provided. And after measuring and cutting out my cards, I used a corner cutter to round the corners like she did in the class. Then, since the back of my cards had monthly calendars on them, I wanted to paste on some paper to write on. I had these packs of colored paper lying around and decided to choose a light purple for the back of my cards. After gluing these on, I used some stickers and washi tape to decorate all of my cards. And this is how they turned out. For the envelopes, the class used some old book pages which looked great. I did something similar by using extra monthly plan pages from a six ring diary that I had that I haven't used. Again, the envelope template is from the projects and resources tab of the class and I printed mine at an 80% size so that it would be slightly smaller. I cut out five of these envelopes and after folding and gluing down the sides, the envelopes are done. I really like her idea of recycling pattern pages to make the envelopes because I think they give a pretty customized but vintage feel. This class also teaches you how to make a sewn pocket folder, which would be great for storing the cards and envelopes or gifting them to someone, but I decided to skip it this time. Overall, this class and my project took less than an hour to complete, and I think it turned out pretty well. If you're interested in more detailed instructions, please take advantage of the premium membership and head on over to the class to see the real pro at work. Meanwhile, I'm really excited to try out one of her other paper projects this weekend. Thank you as always for watching, and I hope you guys can stay safe but also have fun while doing so. See you next time!